so today we're gonna do kinematics review at the y direction right uh, and tomorrow we're gonna do kinematics review at the x direction uh, we're gonna do seven problem and that will be the review uh, seven problem so like two month of kinematics we're gonna finish it in like 20 minutes uh, the problem one is dropping okay so dropping uh, let's say you drop something from 80 meter above the top uh, above the above the ground uh, and you want to draw dt and vt graph dt and vt graph right how can you write well first you need the time so to find the time is very simple d is equal to vat plus half at squared and everything happening at the y direction okay because you drop it 90 degree with respect to the ground so then if everything is at the y direction dropping is by definition zero so dy is negative 80 and then uh, negative 5t squared so 80 is equal to 5t squared so t squared is equal to 16 so t is equal to 4 okay now we can find the velocity we have okay so now we can draw at least this one okay so this is your zero comma zero and this is your um, 4 comma uh, negative 80 okay so now we're gonna draw this one this is your again 0 comma 0 and this is your 4 comma let's find out vf is equal to vi plus at so vf is equal to this is the first a negative 10 t is 4 so vf is equal to negative 40 so you're gonna write negative 40 over here so this point is 4 comma negative 40 so the area of the curve is of course b half bh so half b is 4 and h is negative 40 okay so 2 2 times 40 is negative 40 is of course negative 80 so area of the curve is of course uh, negative 80 okay now the next thing we're gonna do we're gonna do is uh, throwing down so let's draw let's do the throwing down so throwing down throwing down by definition is negative so let's say we are throwing down something by negative 10 meter per second from 75 meter above the ground we want to draw vt and of course dt graph okay of course when uh, so we have to fast let's find the t so dy is equal to viyt plus half a y t squared because everything is at that one direction you're throwing it down uh, 90 degrees with respect to the ground so what does that mean dy uh, is negative 75 okay because this is negative 75 Okay, and VIY is uh, negative 10t minus 5t squared because acceleration due to gravity is only going to use negative 10. Okay, so what do you have? 5t squared plus 10t minus 75. Divide everything by 5, you see t squared plus 2t minus 15. You don't have to use quadratic formula because this is nice. Uh, so you can factor out. This is called middle term factor, t plus 5 and t plus 5. So t plus 5 is equal to 0, so t is equal to negative 5. You don't, uh, t, does, t is equal to negative 5 doesn't exist until you invent a uh, time machine. Then you can go backward time, but t is equal to 3 does make sense. So now let's do this one. This one is like this, it, it, it doesn't take forever. To hit the ground it takes only three seconds so this one zero comma zero and this one three comma negative 75 again we're going to do this so this one is negative 10 of course which is the initial velocity and this one is let's find how much vf is equal to vi plus at so vi is negative 10 and this is negative 10 times 3 so negative 40 so this is negative 40 so what is this point and what is this point this point is of course 0 comma negative 10 and this point is of course uh, 3 comma negative 40 
Okay, so the final thing is, don't forget that one, that one is most important. That is eighty under the card. Eighty under the card is uh, BH. Uh, so BH is how much? Uh, 3 times 10, negative 30. So this is negative 30. Okay, now uh, let's do the other one. This one, half BH. So what is half BH? So half B is how much? 3. H is how much? 30, negative 30. So 15, 45. So this is negative 45. Uh, so this is negative 45. Okay, so this is negative 75. Good. It's problem number two. Now, another thing we can do, um, we drop, we throw down. What else we can do? We can throw up. Okay, so let's throw up something. Throw up with how much? Throw up, let's say, I don't know. Let's say you throw up with two meters per second, okay? And you want to know uh, Vt, and of course, you want to know the dt. Again, everything has the y direction. So let's find the t. d is equal to vat plus half at squared at the y direction. Again, uh, ay, we're going to use g, this is negative 10. So now, is this ground to ground? I, I think so. This is ground to ground. Uh, yeah, you, you throw it up and it's, it's returned to the ground. So you can use 0. And this is 2 t minus 5 t squared so you can factor out t so 2 minus 5 t so t is equal to 2 over 5 so t is equal to 0 0.4 so this is 0 comma 0 and this is uh, 0.4 comma this is 0 0.4 comma 0 okay that's good now what can you do with the other one other one is vf is equal to vi plus at because you have to have final velocity but final velocity you kind of know what is it if the initial velocity is 2 final velocity is negative 2 and the point the, the, the total time is 0.4 so let's write down the point what is this point 0 comma 2 what is this point 0.4 comma negative 2 okay the don't forget the other thing other thing is to find the area under the card so this is half bh so half b is what b is this time is 0.2 so 0.2 this is 2 so this is 0.2 so this is 0.2 okay so now you want to find this one so what is this one half bh again this is also 0.2 i did not draw it to the scale so this is again 0.2 0.2 and h is negative 2 so this is cancel so it's negative 0.2 so this one is negative 0.2 okay all right so that's it uh, now what can you do you go to problem number four what else you can do you can now do it not 90 degree so so far we have been doing it in 90 degree now let's do something else now let's do 30 degree okay uh, let's kick something with 30 degree 20 meter per second uh, at 30 degree at 30 degree okay so what is it 20 cosine 30 is 20 sine 30 what do we want to do we want to draw a graph what else you can do we want to draw a graph so vt dt all right so let's find t when you is going to behave something like that same thing however this time uh, this time is you have to find the this is not 90 degree so 20 sine 30 is 10. Okay, so we're gonna have to find the time. Time always you use the, uh, the y, y component, y. V i y t plus half a y t squared. So dy is ground to ground zero. V i y, which is 10 t minus five t squared. Factor of t. So t is equal to 10 over five. Really, t is equal to 2. So once you find the time, everything is easy because this is 0 comma 0. And this one, of course, you have 2 comma 0. And this is, uh, what do you have this one? This is 0 comma 10. And this is, uh, what, 2. So, so this one is 2 comma uh, negative 10. Okay, don't forget this. This is area under the cut. How much is this? Half bh. So half B is 1, 
this is 10. So this is 5. This one is 5. And what about this one? Half B is half. B is 1. And H is negative 10. So this one is negative 5. 5, negative 5 is 0. So total displacement is 0. Okay, very good. That was question number 5. Let's do something else. Question 6. Okay, so six, what can you do? Six, let's say, um, now, let's uh, do horizontal, um, what do you call horizontal projectile? If you do horizontal projectile, let's say this is your 80 meter, or let's say this is your 100 meter, okay? All right, this is a horizontal projectile, you kick something, right? Okay, and it's, fall with initial velocity zero. This is Vx. Uh, our goal is to do the graph. This is Vxt and this is Vxt. Okay, so what are you gonna do? We're gonna try to find everything. Vf square is equal to Vi square plus 280. Vf square is zero. Vi square is we are trying to find two times a negative 10 d. D is, uh, oh no, let's find, let's find the time. To find the time is dy is equal to viyt plus half at squared. So dy is negative 80, viy is how much? Zero, because this is zero. So negative 5t squared. So then 5t squared is equal to 80, t squared is equal to 16, t is equal to 4. Good. We know the time. To know the time, you can almost do everything. So this is vx, this is dx. Okay, so th th uh, this is 0, comma 0, and this one would be, uh, you have 4, so 4, comma, dx, 100, so 4, comma, 100. This one is, this one is 0, comma, this one is 0, comma, what? 0, comma, vx, so you have to find the vx. So vx is dx over t, so dx is 100, t is 4, so 25, so this one is 25. So this is 0, 25, and this is of course 4, 25. Again, don't forget any under the card because that's the most important thing. Okay, so you have 4 times 25, so this must be 100. And that is 100, of course. All right, so that was question number 6, 7, what can we think of? Let's do uh, something called angle projectile, okay? So when we do angle projectile, what do you do? Uh, Okay, let's say, uh, let's say, um, you do, you flick a ball, you flick a football, okay? And um, when you flick a football, you flick the football one meter above the ground, okay? So, you put one meter above the ground, so, like something like that. Okay, so what do you, uh, you measure this height, height is 7.35, and you measure, the range, the range is, I don't know, 40.5. Okay, what do you need to do? You need to draw four graph, one, two, three, four. You call it dx, you call it dx, you call it dy, you call it dy. And this is, of course, dollar, dollar t, 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 t. Okay, first, you're gonna have to find the, the one of the velocity, right? How can you find it? Let this one is zero, this one is, you are finding it two times negative 10 times d is 7 by 35. So vy is 12. Okay, what that gonna give you? dy is equal to diyt plus half ayt squared. Now, this one is not ground to ground. This one is not ground to ground. Okay, so negative one is equal to viy is, uh, again, uh, this one is um, mm, viy. Okay, um, hmm. oh 12, 12 t minus 5 t squared. So we have 5 t squared minus 12 t minus one is equal to zero. So you have minus b plus minus b squared minus four ac over 2a. So you have 12 plus minus uh, 12 squared minus four, five, negative one, and then over 10. So you have 12 plus minus 164 over 10. So you have 12 plus minus 12.8 over 10. So you have 24.8 divided by 10. So you have 2.5. So once you have time, you have everything. Because you know the, how dx look like, how vx look like, how dy look like, how vy look like, 
Okay, you know everything. So, okay. So now time. What is the time? Time is two point five. What is the time? Time is two point five. What is the time? Two point five. What is the time? Two point five. Okay, good. Once you know time, you know everything. So now Vx. What is Vx? Vx is Vx over t. What is Vx? Forty point five. T is two point five. So Vx is sixteen point two. Now you know this is sixteen point two. You of course know this one. The Vx is forty point five. So this one is two point five comma forty point five, and this one is zero comma zero. This this one. So this one is zero comma sixteen point two, and this one is. 2.5 comma 16.2. This one is, of course, uh, you're gonna have to figure it out. Uh, Vy is, of course, uh, 12, but this one is not 12. Uh, this one is 2.5 comma Vf is equal to Vi plus At. So Vf is equal to Vi, of course, 12 minus 10 to 2.5. So Vf is equal to negative 13. So this is negative 13. Don't forget to shake AD under the card. All right, okay, good. So if you add this one to this one, then that becomes negative one, because this area is bigger than this area, of course. All right, that was, okay, now we have to find the point over here. What is the point over here? Zero comma zero. What is the point over here? Of course, uh, 2.5 comma negative one. Okay, that's it, two point, two point, two point, two point. Now, so now the last but not least, and that is the, I give you um, uh, four problems, right? Uh, keeping the same velocity, right? And that is uh, 15 meter per second, 15 meter per second, 15 meter per second, 15 meter per second. This is 15 degree, this is 30 degree, this is 60 degree, this is, uh, I don't know, no, this is the set 45 degree. Okay, good. now you're gonna use this formula uh, v squared sine sine 2 theta over g. Okay, so if you do that, then 15 squared is 2 to 5 uh, sine 2 theta. So sine 2 times 15 is 30 divided by g is 10 absolute value. So this is uh, 11. Now, 2 to 5 sine 30 times 2, 60, 10. So this is um, 20. 2 to 5 sine 45 times 2, 90. This is uh, 10. So this one is 23. This one is 2 to 5 sine 120. So this one is also 20. Now, so whose angle gives you a uh, maximum range? Angle 45 gives you maximum range because 23 is bigger than everything else. So this is the kinematics review at the y direction.